What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. 2017 is almost over and it's been a fantastic year for games. But I'm going to be talking about that at a later date. For now, I'm going to be talking about games that I want to see next year. Or more like games I want to see confirmed next year because games very rarely come out in the same year that they're announced. The only rule is that this will not include games that I already know are coming out next year like Bayonetta 3 for example. We're so caliber sticks! <laughs> Anyways, with that said, let's begin. Number one on my list is a new Crash Bandicoot game. The Insane Trilogy sold ridiculously well. It's only about a million behind Horizon Zero Dawn in sales despite the fact that it came nearly half a year after it. Not only that, but it did get pretty good review scores. It'd be pretty foolish if Activision didn't take advantage of this and make more quality Crash games. I mean, seeing as how Activision has slapped Crash's face on all the banners of their social media sites, I'd say it's pretty safe to assume that this revival isn't a one-time thing. But it'd be nice to have some reassurance. And while it would be nice, I don't mean another remaster like Crash Team Racing or Crash Bash. We need a brand new Crash game. And you know what I mean, Activision. A good Crash game with a good Crash. Not that mutant stuff where Crash looks like Sheen from Jimmy Neutron in a fursuit. Now on to number two on my list. Since remasters are fresh on our mind when I brought up Crash, what remasters would I like to see? Spyro? Nah. Medieval? That's already confirmed, but nah. Now don't get me wrong, I'm happy for you medieval guys, and I'm sure Spyro would be great, but I'm looking at Ape Escape. It has some of the most unique and fun gameplay I've ever seen out of any PlayStation game, and there's so much charm and personality in it too. After the third game in the original trilogy, the franchise just fell in this weird experimental territory, and it wasn't very good. So if Sony were to bring back Ape Escape 1, 2, and 3, they'd see how much that gameplay style worked for them, and how great the games were, and maybe someday, we'd even get Ape Escape 4. Oh, finally something Nintendo! Number 3 on my list is a brand new Punch-Out game. Yeah, you all knew this was coming, I've been talking about Little Mac a lot lately, I even had a video on 5 ideas for a brand new Punch-Out game, so there really isn't much to say here, I just wanna see it. I'm just surprised Nintendo hasn't done more with it already, it has so much potential. I mean, the revival it had on the Wii got outstanding review scores, it's not the game's fault that it didn't sell well, Nintendo just wasn't promoting it well, it was pretty short as a game, and it was kinda low budget. But despite all that, again, it still got outstanding review scores. Just goes to show you what kind of scores they'd get if they made a huge, gigantic punch-out game. I know, I know, Nintendo Fire Emblem is your baby now, and Star Fox didn't do too well with his revival, but come on, give Punch-Out another shot. Number four on the list is kinda cheating because it's already been confirmed, but not really because it's been put on hiatus, and we need to wait for it to be reconfirmed. But it's Tekken Cross Street Fighter. Now, people often get confused and ask, didn't that game already happen? No, 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 no. You're thinking of Street Fighter Cross Tekken. This is Tekken Cross Street Fighter. Totally different. Street Fighter Cross Tekken used Street Fighter style gameplay, but Tekken Cross Street Fighter is going to use Tekken style gameplay. I mean, it does make sense why Harada would put the game on hold considering all he had going on at the time. Tekken 7, Summer Lesson, Pokin, assisting a bit in Super Smash Bros., and now we learn that he was helping out some with Soul Calibur 6. The dude was busy, but things are starting to clear up now. Super Smash Bros. is done, Summer Lesson is done, Pokin is done, its port on the Switch is done, Soul Calibur 6 is set to be released next year, meaning that it's likely almost done, and Tekken 7 only has a little bit of DLC left, unless they confirm more. So I think the right time to hop back into Tekken Cross Street Fighter is about now. And number 5 on my list would be a new, huge 3D fighter. I mean, until the recent confirmation of Soul Calibur 6, Tekken is all we had in that category. Virtua Fighter has been dead for years, and Dead or Alive isn't looking too good right now. How are those sales coming along, Itagaki? <laughs> yeah, make more erotic DLC. That'll help. So yeah, Tekken's mostly been carrying the entire 3D fighting game genre on its own for years. I mean, Naruto and Pokin are doing pretty well, and the upcoming My Hero Academia game looks pretty good. So those Ultimate Ninja Storm styled games are alright, but I'm looking forward to a new unlicensed franchise, some new fighting game faces. One that can join the ranks of Jin Kazama, Nightmare, and Akira when Virtua Fighter was still alive. So those are the 5 games I want to see announced the most in 2018. Be sure to let me know if any of them get confirmed. Leopold the Brave, out.